hello guys welcome to the brand new video in this video we are going to discuss about tsunami let's get started first of all in this slide we'd like to know about the origin of the word tsunami basically the word is a Japanese word and it means harbor wave how does tsunami occur there are basically two main regions for occurring a tsunami first one is suboceanic volcanic eruption you can see in this image in the ocean a volcanic eruption can be occurred and for that a tsunami can also be occurred. The second region is earthquake. When earthquake is occurred, a tsunami can be the after effect of the earthquake. Let's talk about wavelength and speed of tsunami. Actually, the wavelength of tsunami is long wavelength and that can be over 100 km. And the periods is longer than one hour. And the tsunami speed is basically 725 km per hour. A tsunami can be very much powerful. Then let's talk about the energy of a tsunami. The loss of energy equals to 1 divided by lambda. Since lambda very long, little energy lost. Waves can travel great distances and still be very destructive. You can see in the lower image this is the open sea and tsunami may be occurred in this place and the destructive effect you may understand by this illustration how we can detect a tsunami there is a meter named Sonometer and that is a generic term for a device or system for the detection of tsunami. You can see the meter that is sonometer. This is the sonometer and the specific system that is used to detect the tsunami is Sonometer mooring system. This is the whole illustration of sonometer mooring system. Let's talk about the damages that can be occurred due to tsunami. First of all, a massive destruction. Buildings, different constructions can be collapsed due to tsunami and a massive death can also be occurred in the place where a tsunami is occurred another damage is digits different digits can be introduced to the specific place where the tsunami is occurred Especially environmental impact is most important because different environmental impacts for example air pollution then agricultural damage can also be occurred due to this tsunami. The last one is psychological effect basically when a tsunami occurs in a place 
the community can face psychological effects how to minimize the impact of tsunami as we know several impacts or effects of tsunami with the help of the previous slide now we have to know how to minimize the impacts of tsunami first of all there are some constructive measures for example building construction I'd like to emphasize this one because if we the human beings want to minimize the impact of tsunami then we can take necessary steps to build some constructions that will be really helpful to minimize the impact of tsunami but natural minimization is healthy coral reefs if healthy coral reefs are available in the coastal region then tsunami impact will be minimized drastically furthermore we can do field survey of recent tsunamis and geological investigations to figure out the possible next tsunami occurrence and in this way we can prepare ourselves to fight against the tsunami the last one that is listed in this slide that is mangrove forest mangrove forest naturally acts like a shield for the coastal community it can minimize the impact of tsunami very effectively thank you guys for watching this video regarding tsunami i hope this video is gonna be very helpful for you i will see you in the next video Ta da